Good morning, good afternoon, hello everyone. Uh, I'm glad to welcome you today for second Analyse Day. We are live uh, today in our Paris studio. Um, so we plan to make this a yearly event to provide you with updates on our business, on our new product release, and about key market trends. We value very much the interactions that we have with you as market analysts, and therefore it's a pleasure to be again with you today uh, to exchange about our views and also have some exchanges on market trends. Um, I will start to introduce myself. So I'm Pierre Nababi. I'm Group Financial Services uh, Lead, and my role is to coordinate all of our activities uh, intended to serve our financial services clients uh, across our geographies and business line so that we can deliver more value and, uh, to, to our clients. We will now continue our introduction by presenting an overview of our activities in financial services. So first with Soprasteria as a group. Soprasteria is a technology uh, company with three core businesses, consulting, digital services and tech services, and software. You see on the slide here a few key uh, figures about the scale and our European and global footprints at uh, Soprasteria. Last year, 2022, was a year of major achievement for the company and we had two important milestones that we came over. The first one is that we are now a company of more than 50,000 employees, and we also uh, reach the milestone of 5 billion euro of revenues. But these are not the figures which are so important. This means that last year we attracted more than 10,000 new uh, talents joining and enriching all competencies in the company. And this means also, as regards uh, the turnover revenue, that uh, the clients, they continue to trust us and to uh, be in line with us for their strategic transformation projects. I have also to say that last year was a year where we achieved significant acquisitions. The first one uh, is the one of CS, which uh, is becoming a reality uh, this uh, week. Um, a company dedicated to aerospace uh, and to critical mission systems, but with cybersecurity capabilities. And we also are starting to work with our uh, colleagues, new colleagues from Tobania, uh, a company uh, of digital services in, the, in Belgium, which is very active in financial services. Finally, just this week, we announced a project to uh, also acquire another important company in the Benelux regions, Ordina, and all of these capabilities will strengthen uh, and will help us to deliver more value to our banking clients. So now move uh, to Sopra in financial services. Uh, what do we do for our banking clients? So we are active uh, across these three business lines, consulting, tech services, and uh, software, of course. We have a global footprint, uh, thanks mainly to our software business, as you see on the map on the slide. We are also very strong uh, in Europe, in our consulting and in our digital services business. So this means that in Europe, we have a complete end-to-end -end offering regarding uh, financial services, uh, merging the three types of activities. We have extended client relationships across the globe uh, and an exceptional uh, coverage of the largest European bank as well, be it in one of the businesses. These positions have been built over the year and I'm glad that we also can gather more than 10,000 uh, individuals and professionals addressing our banking clients. If we look at our organization, you may you have heard and you know some of our brands and capabilities uh, for banks and financial services. Let's have a short overview of what uh, are the different capabilities that we can put together. You have first Sopra Banking Software that was introduced by uh, Eric, uh, the CEO. And uh, this is one of the leading software editors uh, globally with more than 400 million revenues in uh, software for uh, financial institutions. 
So this is uh, more or less three, uh, 35 or 40 percent of the revenues that we generate in financial services. You have Soprasteria providing integration services and IT capabilities for our banking clients. Soprasteria Next, or consulting brand specialized in management consulting and in digital transformation consulting. We'll have a number of examples of the type of assignments that they realize. Now coming on the other part of the slide, you have SFT, Sopra Financial Technology, a company that was set up in the context of the project with the Sparda banks and which is delivering for German banks a full as a service banking platform. You have Galit, a specialized company in payments with consulting services and dedicated software for our payments clients. And finally, uh, Soprasteria Ventures, and you will see that we are very involved with the fintech ecosystem. Looking at all our capabilities, we also have some transversal uh, entities across the industries that address and support banking clients. Among them, you have the CTO and his team, the Center of Excellence uh, for Technologies. They gather world-class expertise and capabilities around advanced technologies such as AI, blockchain, or other technologies. We have then dedicated teams for cyber security and infrastructure management. We'll also have examples of their projects. And finally, three delivery centers, global delivery centers, one in Spain, one in Poland, and one in India. I would also like to mention Axway, or sister company and preferred partner. And uh, this is a company enriching on offering with middleware software and API management platforms. So all in all, as introduced by Eric, we are putting together a unique set of capabilities and competencies for our clients in financial services. We will now take a step back and look at the ecosystem. Uh, if we are uh, so strong in financial services, we need also to be very involved and to have an active role in the financial services industry in Europe. And this is exactly what we are doing. Looking at the different ways we, involve, uh, we are involved with third parties. Uh, first, with fintechs. Uh, you see here a number of logos. We invest directly in fintechs, as we did recently in Algon, a credit scoring uh, company based in France, or indirectly through VC funds. But the most important part of our relationship with fintechs is not about capital gain and investment. It's about driving extended value proposition and partnership with them for our banking clients. I will give two examples. The first one is with Tink that allows us to reach more than 3,000 financial institutions across Europe through their APIs. And another one with Chainalysis, we announced this partnership last year, uh, which enables us to bring uh, state-of-the-art uh, compliance solution about crypto. We combine their expertise in crypto and our knowledge of institutions, financial institutions in Europe. Um, if we move then to uh, the second type of partners, we are, of course, having strong relationships with Hyperscaler for the cloud services and with software providers which are very active and involved in financial services. You have the names here and we have professionals which are experts integrating their technologies, supporting our clients in move to cloud uh, approaches with these partners. Being present in the ecosystem, this also means being active in leading ad industry associations. This means also publishing thought leadership documents. We'll come back to that. And this means also being uh, able to share and to gather uh, clients and stakeholders. And this is what we are doing with the Sopra Banking Summit. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that we'll have the third edition this year. This is a major event in the industry with more than 5,000 participants at the event uh, last year. 
So as you see, we are very involved in the ecosystem. And clearly, I also include you as market analyst uh, as playing a key role in this ecosystem. And I would like to thank you again for the insight, the discussions that help us to build our vision, to drive our product roadmaps, and also to help our clients to make the good decision about the choices of their supplier. So this was for the overview of uh, Soprasteria in financial services. We'll now come to our ambition and to our priorities. So for ambition, you see here the text that was validated by uh, the board of Soprasteria Group and which reflects uh, high ambition that we have across our businesses for financial services. I'm not going to comment this text, but maybe to pick a few keywords. The first one here is long-term. We are a European player with a long-term strategy. We have long-term relationship with our clients, and we are here to stay. This is something that is a key characteristic of the company. Second one I would like to pick is a digital battle. We know all that banks uh, have a lot of competition from newcomers and that this competition is taking place on the digital field. We want to help banks in this digital battle. We are clearly on their side supporting them to take all the benefits that the digital can bring, be it for optimization of internal processes or for developing new solutions and new services. And finally, the last one would be sovereign. Uh, we are a European company and it can be very important for banks during these uh, troubled times. Sovereignty is a major topic as well for banking in Europe. So as you see, we don't lack ambition in financial services. Let's have a look now at how uh, we deliver this ambition about uh, and what are our priorities. To define our priorities, uh, we uh, set up a framework with a three dimensions. First one is about uh, transformation going on at banks, which uh, concerns all of their business lines. Um, so this is the first dimension. We want to address topics that really matters for banks. Second dimension is about the business lines that we address for banks. And the third one about core technological capabilities. Looking at the first dimension, uh, you see here a number of topics that uh, Eric already mentioned. Um, they uh, are major challenges for banks. And the good news is that for each of them, we have an offering, we have capabilities, and we have references to support them and deliver value. We help them to become more agile, to be more efficient, to optimize their process, to make cost savings, uh, despite their uh, IT uh, legacy systems. We are also involved in helping them to gain uh, the digital battle of the customer experience uh, by designing mobile application, looking at new use cases and their overall customer experience. We are involved as well in data. Uh, this is a key area where we have specialists helping banks. We also have specialists in the field of regulation, in the field of compliance and cybersecurity. We'll give a number of examples today. I would like to say a few words then uh, on ESG. ESG, we have seen this topic becoming a major topic uh, in the strategy of banks in a very short time frame, maybe two to three years. This is clearly one of the area where they will concentrate their investment both on IT, but also on innovative services. And we are convinced that the bank can play a major role in helping our society to become more sustainable. So here we are starting with a consulting approach uh, to help them, for instance, uh, to define uh, eco uh, uh, projects that will help their clients to be more environmental friendly. We are also uh, helping them with IT solutions, for instance, to evaluate the impact of their IT systems. Currently, we are building a comprehensive uh, consulting and solution offering for banks related to ESG. And finally, the last topic here on innovation and open banking, we'll discuss extensively in our roundtable. 
It's maybe not uh, the major part of the, our client's revenue yet, but we all know we have to continue to invest and to find new use cases and monetize those services. Moving now to the two other dimensions of our framework uh, for financial services, we have a very short overview of the business lines that we address uh, at banks. Banks are very large organizations uh, and we are more focused on their retail business. So you see that uh, for sure we are addressing their digital and open banking uh, department. We, are, we have a strong expertise, business expertise on lending and credits. We support them for their payment operations, uh, which are critical because they have a lot of interactions with their clients on payments, uh, on compliance. We already uh, touched a, a word on this. And of course, digital channels. On the tech capabilities, as you see, we are a very large uh, tech company. So we have a lot of capabilities that we can mobilize uh, to uh, support our clients. I would just highlight one around the IT modernization and go to cloud. This is a very broad domain and we know it's at the heart or today of the priorities of banks, CIOs and also chief executive officers. So this, in this domain, we can include some uh, um, application modernization projects. We include data migration projects. We include as well go to cloud strategies and implementation. So there are a lot of capabilities that we need to put together to make an assessment, see what uh, should be the end result and game for this uh, modernization of the IT system and build and support them in this journey. I think that we are probably one of the companies which gathers most of the capabilities to address these topics for large European banks. Um, I just comment, uh, say a few words on the two others. So the, the one on data, the one also on cyber, which are very important topic. Data, it comes also together with AI, and, uh, but it's not only about AI, it's also about data architecture, as we said, data migration and data platform and technological stacks. So this was for the overview of Sopra uh, capabilities and offering for financial services.